happy Friday family it's herbalist Viola look like share subscribe <laughs> just want to make sure that I'm getting this message out to all my brothers and sisters yes just want to make sure I'm reaching reaching my peoples listen today we're gonna to talk about the anal itching yes um, it's it's a hard subject to talk about because a lot of people they hide run don't want to talk about it some people are irritated well their irritation come out of their they're physically happy everything's fine but then down there it's itching it's aggravating so it tends to come out in other ways so i just want to say look i understand because i used to suffer from it uh, so i can share from personal experience how i relieve myself from okay. hemorrhoids with the anal with the anal itching please but to relieve yourself for hemorrhoids is definitely more fiber do not strain you have to exercise believe me and you definitely need to increase fiber seriously increase fiber in your diet now listen i know you guys don't even think about this but do you know that there's people who is allergic to toilet tissue and don't even know it. Yes. Yes. If you have hemorrhoids and you're wondering why uh, you have having bleeding, itching, and stuff is just not going well, sometimes you may be allergic to the toilet tissue. No, I'm not saying that, that there's a problem, but you could be allergic to toilet tissue. So that's why I have these flushable wipes up here. And listen, so another thing with the toilet tissue it could be that you irritate it by the white toilet tissue yes they do sell the brown toilet tissue but i'm just showing you the wipes because this is another another avenue you can do and then um and also with you being irritated from toilet tissue you also can have an irritation from soap we should not put any soap down there male female when you're cleaning the anus and when you're cleaning the vagina you should not use any soap i'm serious you should not use any soap it should just be plain water that's why sometimes when you sit there and take a sit bath it's not good to use all that favorite perfumes and all that soap so it's good to use other things and we'll get back to that in a minute so like i was saying far as about the the tissue and soap it's best not to use any soap i know i spoke about that before when i was talking about the hygiene far as the vagina but this could be your problem and also when you wipe okay so when you wipe please be real critical that you just wipe one time don't go back and wipe again and wipe again you may just want to use a cloth wipe and when you use your wipes make sure it's very critical that you um, make sure that you use um, hypoallergenic wipes you don't want no scent you want scented free Okay, so you could use flushable wipes and you can see where this one is made with aloe and vitamin E. That's very critical because you see I have the vitamin E tablets. Yes, it's good to have vitamin E and aloe. So this could help and because with the toilet paper, it can rip, it can tear, it can cause other damage to your hemorrhoids especially with the itching and you know you can't scratch so why would you want to do something harsh that's what's always good to use of the wipes so these are two things you can do use i mean this is another alternate you can use instead of the toilet paper and they do have brown but i wouldn't you want to do something soft you want to do something delicate because you want to wipe the rule of thumb when you go into the bathroom it's best for you to have your stool whole and when i mean whole you want it to come out like a sausage and remember rule of thumb is this how much you need to poop out that's a normal bowel movement but you want it to come out not sticky like toothpaste you don't want it sticky so this is why you want to sometimes i don't know about some people you want to incorporate the uh the how can i turn this around you want you want to incorporate the uh bacillus husk powder and i'll show you just how to take so that which okay so when you take this bacillus husk powder what you want to do is you look it tastes nasty when you drink it with water if you want to try water go ahead but look this stuff gets thick very fast so just make sure you watch what you're doing so if i was you i would use juice this is um this is cranberry juice so it's nasty so it's no sugar so but i use four ounces of 
my cranberry juice just four ounces you can use more it's just four ounces look this stuff gets thick real fast so you can choke so please make sure and look as far as this you only can have seven grams a day that's all you need this stuff gets thick fast because what this does this actually makes your your poop solid so you just put one teaspoon you guys just one teaspoon and then you want to take a lid and you want to shake it up so you put the lid on shake it up look this stuff is good for you know lowers your cholesterol is good for good heart health it's, it's, it's pretty good lowest cholesterol like I said lowest cholesterol helps with constipation helps even with diarrhea so you just make sure you shake it real good and you just drink it down It does gel up real fast and you see it's like grainy you see it was grainy so what you do is you take the other water and you take the other four ounces of water and you shake that up and that's how you get the rest get of the rest of the powder and you just drink that down right, and shake it up real good you want to shake it real good make sure you get it And there you get your other four ounces because you really need eight ounces of it. And that's how you take it. Look, be careful because like I said, this stuff gets real thick. People have choked. When you find yourself gassy, just drink some more water. Some people are allergic, so make sure you're not allergic. Make sure you try a little bit and make sure you're not allergic. So that's how you take this. So, And this will help you have a solid poop. This actually put more fiber. So just like I said, be careful. Um, you know what you're allergic to, so just be careful. And this will help your poop. This will help your poop be, you know, long and not sticky where you wipe and you're actually injuring yourself and when you find yourself injuring yourself you can use um you can use coconut oil now that you want to get the one that's silicified because you want to make sure that when you when you go and put it around that area you want to make sure that you can put a little bit on the inside just a little bit and you want it on the outside because this helps for antifungal because you look you could be in, infected down there you may be wiping too hard you you know you may not have it all clean so that's why it's good to get in the bath and trying to clean yourself because when you use a toilet tissue even with the wipes you can wipe too hard and you can rupture and you can tear so that's why it's very critical that you be delicate down there so it's a delicate area and you want to make sure that you do not injure. <laughs> you do not want to injure. You want to make sure that you wipe one time, wash, do the best you can to keep that area dry, clean. And, you know, you can use a coconut oil straight or you can make a concoction. Now, you can make a concoction. Um, I use zinc oxide. You, you, I use zinc oxide. I use Emnu oil. And I use the... Um, macadamia oil and I also use the what is this Aragon oil I would mix this together this is like my favorite concoction so this helped with the itching this actually helped with the itching and it was just wonderful I got instant relief when I used these because I did have the anal itching and every once in a while uh, if you are constipated you can push them back out and I know it sounds crazy but you push push them back in because you know you want them to shrink and you want them to not be inflamed. So these are some of the things that you can use. And also you can make sure you use vitamin E. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the rule of thumb with the vitamin E, you just take two. You just yes, take you two 400 IUs. Yes, you take two of these. This is the last, last 
ditch effort if they're not going away. Aggravate you, you can just take two and insert it. Yes, you want to do this two to three times a day. Yes, I said two to three times a day for three days. Now, all these things that I'm showing you, you want to make sure that you're doing it just for less than a week. You do it less than a week, and if it progresses and you have issues, then it could be something else, especially if there's ble that's bleeding. If you got blood in your stool, it could be something else. Or you just wiping too hard and you causing more issues. But the main thing you want to do is make sure that you're not sitting a long time. Make sure you eat, eating a lot of fiber because this is this is what helps. Just make sure you eating a lot of fiber. You got to change your diet. You got to change your diet. So a lot of fiber. You need to exercise. Soda, chocolate. I know you like Viola. I love soda. I love chocolate. Soda, chocolate uh, is also. You know, if you're you're eating that, you gotta cut back. So cut back on the sugar, the soda, the ca the caffeine. Just cut that back. If you so make sure you cut those back, and that will help you. And just look, a high fiber diet, a high fiber diet is very critical that you have a high fiber diet because you want to go and make sure you just go just like a like a sausage. <laughs> you want to go like a sausage. You don't want to go like toothpaste. So. Then you can raise is really nothing to play with, especially in that area. And that area is very sensitive because, look, we can't scratch. We, we, you know, you can't air it out. <laughs> you can't let it stay dry. That's why it's best sometimes just wear a skirt. Men, it's good to wear boxers. And some people just like to go to the bathroom. And the worst thing you can do, the absolute worst thing you can do is hold it. Do not hold it. Do if you're if you're itching and you're burning and and if you're bleeding or if you if it just hurts real bad. Do not hold it. You're gonna go ahead and go. Just make sure you go empty, and then after you empty, you can actually use the the vitamin E that works, or you can use this concoction, and I will have it down in the bottom to show you just how um, this is made, and um, I, I just call it my extra cream instead of going to buy uh, the preparation H preparation H you know you can use that over this over the uh, counter or but it just wasn't it just wasn't satisfying the itch so I made this and this is mainly for the itch uh, coconut oil is it helps with the itch but it helps with uh, the coconut oil helps with the swelling as well okay so Vaseline Vaseline is good also just giving you some other tips Vaseline is also good especially when just uh, when you have the, the itching because it actually, you can actually put this on and actually coat it, or you can use vitamin E and just coat it. But the vitamin E, Vaseline actually helps because we have kids. You have kids that um, that also have the itching as well. So you're not, I want to talk to you about the herbs. Look, so when you have children, I do not help children, but you as an adult, if you find that you have parasites, yes, yes. Sometimes the itching is just pinworms. Pinworms will come out at night, especially at night. Pinworms will come out at night to breathe. They want to come out and get some air. And you're like, Viola, that's disgusting. No, it's true. They do come out at night. If you happen to find your child restless and they digging in their butt, they got pinworms. They really got pinworms. And you want to make sure you take care of that pinworms. Now, now, um, um, this is the reason why I tell you guys get your hypothecary together because you can um, actually treat your children. No. So these are great for parasites. So what you want, you want to use, you can, you can use the, uh, the warm wood by itself. You can actually do, get you some herbs and put some warm wood in some, in some, um, you can put in alcohol, you can put in vegetable glycerin and you can store it and this will last you. You can actually, um, put the worm wood, you can get the cut and silk it, put it in a mason jar and then you just fill it up and you just go ahead. But Wormwood's good for parasites. Black walnut hood's good for parasites. Especially, um, you only reason why I'm adding the adding garlic because garlic. Look, y'all slip on garlic. Garlic has so many. Oh my gosh, so many wonderful benefits that help your whole body from t top of your head, from your brain, all the way down to your feet with gout. But anyway, um, and I know it's another subject. But far as like him raising an anal itching and get out the parasites, you want to put garlic in there because it helps with antifungal, antibacterial. And then you can add yellow dock. Yellow dock's a diuretic because you want you you want to go. You want to make sure you go. Party aqua. So these are things and, and olive leaf you don't have to use them all but the main one you want is um, worm walnut head 
definitely garlic and 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 yellow yellow dye. Put those three. If you want to hit them real hard and and really get them out, then add party arco and the olive beef. I just want to make sure that I tell you about the herbs because these are good. These are parasites. This is in my parasite cleanse and my uh very wise my uh, candida wet wise, which is half parasite half candida because you want to knock them out at the same time why why go and do a parasite cleanse and then you don't you got candida and that's old growth for yeast and you can knock them out both times but these are the best best things that you want to use because look the, <laughs> the parasites no joke and pen words is no joke they're no joke and and look we already know it's that sugar it's too much sugar it's too much sugar in your diet you're not putting enough fiber we're straining, we're actually holding in our poop. Our food is not digesting and digesting. Look, that's the same reason why I keep saying water. 64 ounces of water. And I don't want to talk about going to the bath. So when you find yourself having an itching and it's not being clean because you're wiping and wiping and what you're doing is you're ripping, you, you know, you're you're actually damaging the hemorrhoids. You're making them worse. You're making them swell. I mean, not swell. You already know the hemorrhoids swell. When the piles of the fissures and, and all that other stuff, you have the internal hemorrhoids that you need to push in. You got the external hemorrhoids. Don't know which ones you have, but when you have the anal itch, I know it's, it's, it's unbearable. You're aggravated. You're irritated. You're like, I just want some relief. So this is what I'm showing you, some relief. What you want to do if you find yourself and the itching is just, oh, it's just unbearable. You want to definitely get the apple cider vinegar. You know, apple cider vinegar, is, yeah, I talk about it all the time. Put some apple cider vinegar, a half a cup. If you bold a cup. So you just want to get this, this help with the anal itching. Another thing is don't sleep on the Epsom salt, you guys. Don't sleep on the Epsom salt. Epsom salt is another thing that you need to use um, if you got hemorrhoids and you want to you know, get in a sit bath, you know, take a cup, you can take a half a cup, you can take two cups, it depends on how high you fill your tub, but if you just going in and do a sit bath and you're not filling yourself up, just do a half a cup, same thing with the apple cider vinegar, half a cup, just go in there and sit when you want to go in there and um, um, just wash up real quick, a teaspoon, teaspoon and teaspoon of both, if you want to just go in there and wipe yourself and, and get yourself clean, so and if you do the sit baths, do it longer than 20 minutes. I know some people say 10, do 20. What you want to do, you want to shrink them. You want to make sure you shrink them and take care of them because look, it's, they're not going to just go away overnight. Everything takes time. I know when I speak to, when I speak to, uh, you know, people call me and they ask for, you know, information. Listen, it's not overnight. It's not overnight. Some things, it all depends on what the situation is, is overnight. But hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids, uh -uh. not overnight. This can take you anywhere between a week, depends on how bad they are, to a month to six months. It just all depends on how bad uh, hemorrhoids are. And it's it. internal hemorrhoids to where you have both to the hemorrhoids drop down to where you know, you just have piles and then you have fissures and you have skin tags. And then if you're not cleaning the skin tags, and I mean, if you're not cleaning, um, you know, when a skin tag develops, actually poop actually sits inside, inside the folds. And that's the main reason why you want the wipes. So try to stay away. If you can try to stay, if you do have him where try to stay away from the toilet paper. But if you're just out, just carry a Ziploc bag full of wipes. Make sure you wipe. And the best thing you want to do is just put some, uh, put a little Vaseline on there. If you don't have any of this, put a little Vaseline. Or if you can, get your little, get your little uh, cup. You can, you can get you a little, a little cup. Put you some coconut oil in there and put it in your purse. Women, you know, we have little smaller ones, but you just never know. And look. Those are the tips that I want to give you. There's others. I'm going to show you a, vi uh, a video where you can actually use raw garlic and you can actually use um, some vegetable, I mean, some coconut oil and um, olive, olive, olive oil. So you can actually use that and um, just watch the, the next video. Okay. So after the garlic has been boiled, you take it out and you take the skin off. So I'm just going to take the skin off. So we can mash it up. And mind you, you only need seven. 
So we're going to get seven pieces. Now that you got the skin off, then you just mash it. So what you want to do is mash it. The fact that you got it all mashed up, see it's all mashed up, that's when you add your honey. So we're going to add a little bit of honey. And then you add a little bit of olive oil. And then you mix it up. And this is the mixture that you put on. When you mix it well, then you get your cotton swab. You get your cotton swab and you put a little bit on there. This is what you put on the affected area, just like that. So, so if this is your, your opening, you put it on just like that. Put this on two to three times a day. So Okay, so just make sure that if you're doing any prolonged sitting, this is like, uh, just want to make sure you understand. If you're doing any prolonged sitting, please don't. If you have hemorrhoids, get up, move around. That's why it's good to have exercise. Sit on a donut. Do not sit on a hard chair. Do not sit. Sitting is like the worst. You, you got an eight-hour job and you're sitting. Do not sit. Don't sit there and sit all the time. That's like the worst look i know this is a lot i know this is like vital that's a lot of money no actually if you think about it if you already had your hypothecary together you already had these so you can knock this out with the pinworms everybody got coconut oil look i know <laughs> what vegans most vegans vegetarian have plenty of coconut oil coconut oil is your best friend for as vaseline if you got children and just uh, as adults this vaseline is supposed to be your lotion <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but only thing you're probably buying is this concoction. Um, this is a little bit of extra money. So, but if you want um, some instant relief, we talk about three to four days. This does help. It'll be down in the below, but you should already have vitamin E on tap. And this is another thing of coconut oil, two coconut oils. But there you have it. I look, I hope this helps. I know you want instant relief because I got relief from it. I still use these no matter what. I still use the flushable wipes. You see, that's why it's a lot and yeah. great. And um, so, but look, like, share. If you have any comments, any concerns, just put them down below. Um, yeah, and that's it. So you guys, happy Friday. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.